Well, greetings. Oh, sh**. There's that light. There's a lot of bumps in the road of life, and there's a lot of bumps of road of trying to get a GoPro and dual perspective action cameras on a bicycle. Good Lord. This is not what they call bicycle science. I'm Alan Carl, World Rider, and welcome to my YouTube channel, World Rider TV. It's a lovely February evening here, just as the, uh, as the sun gets ready to set. The post guy is gonna let me move, even though he had the right of way. Everybody's friendly here in Encinitas, California, San Diego. Anyway, it is nearing sunset. It's 71 degrees, and maybe part of me feels a little guilty about that because I see the news and the tragic weather that's crossing the, the heartland into the New England most people are dealing with that aren't here in San Diego with me. But I'm out on a nice bike ride, eager to see that little gold orb dip into the Pacific Ocean for a sunset. Anyway, um, this is not totally unusual for me on my YouTube channel, but. I've done it maybe once or twice before, taking you on a bike vlog. That would be a bicycle vlog, or in my case, a, an electric bicycle vlog. I've got a uh, pedal assist gazelle built in the Netherlands with a German Bosch engine. That just gives me a little extra help going up those hills. So it uh, means I, t I typically ride a lot further and longer than I do on my regular bicycle. But that's all besides the point, because usually on my channel, you're seeing me not on a bicycle or an electric bicycle, but rather you're on a, you're seeing me on a motorcycle, right? But get this, that brutal assassination was the catalyst that triggered the start of World War I, right? That's right. The good old Doc, as, a, as my original motorcycle is called, and it's sitting right now in a little bit cold weather in southern Europe in Greece. It's in Athens, the capital city of the uh, wonderful country of Greece. And I have a surrogate dock. I have a, a backup, a twin, if you will. And that bike is sitting in my driveway. That's right. Doc's twin, we call him Doc Jr. or a lot of other uh, nicknames we've, we've thrown around. When I had to film my TV show for the Travel Channel, that's what we did. We went out. My bike has been sitting in Europe, in Southern Europe, for, uh, for several years now. So I needed a North American, and I guess maybe even a Central and South American bike. So I went out and found the exact same model set it up just so it looks like the twin. There are subtle differences that you will see. Okay, now this gets a little testy as we're crossing um, Vulcan Avenue onto the Pacific Coast Highway. So we're gonna focus and I'll get back to dock and the twin dock so I can get off the busy craziness. As you can see me winding around. That's right. A little bit rough road that the camera is getting a little bit jockeyed around, so the framing is probably going to change on this, but that's all right. We get up at this big hill, we're headed into Beacons Beach, the parking lot. The beach is actually below the bluffs here in Encinitas. Car coming up behind me. I'm going to push up a little extra pedal assist on this and just get up here so he doesn't have to pass me. And we're going to go on this road, it's called Neptune. You're going to see a lot of people jogging, walking dogs, babies, or just walking. Yeah, we're just walking along. Okay. Yeah. Take the assist off. Now we're on a flat hill. I can just pedal, get a little cardio. It's a great thing. So that's right. I've got two uh, motorcycles, BMW GS650 Dakars. And for those of you who've been watching my channel here ever since we got crazy locked down in this uh, COVID crazy pandemic, that uh, I usually spend the summers traveling around Eastern Central Europe and then come back here to the States, to San Diego, to write about that trip, to edit my vlogs and videos from that trip. And, post those things up here on uh, on my channel. But you know what? Pandemic changed all that. 
So I've been going back through old footage and uh, putting things up here on the channel. But the reason that you haven't seen a domestic vlog, you know, me out riding around the, you know, the wonderful western states during the pandemic is because, as those of you who do know and watch the channel and are seen my webcasts and listen to the podcast, you know, and for those of you now finding out, that I had a bout of vertigo that hit me in June 2020. It was pretty scary, and I have a, I'll, I'll put a link to it here in the description. I, I, I tell the complete story, so I will, in the effort of being more streamlined on this vlog, I'll bypass telling you the exact same story, other than to say that it was a scary moment, and uh, since then, here we are in February 2022. Anyway, I got hit with this vertigo, and I've been struggling with this condition for well over a year and a half, and although I hear I'm on two wheels, and generating my own power through the pedals, I have hesitated to get back on that Doc Jr., that surrogate Doc, the twin Doc of the original motorcycle, famous for in my book, Forks, which also, if you don't know about that, I'll put a link in the description. You should check it out on Amazon. I also have it on the Apple Bookstore in 35 little mini books, mini Apple books, the, the digital version of that. So anyway, we are cruising down Neptune here. I'm comfortable riding this bicycle. Anyway, I've resisted getting on the, the motorcycle, but I'm here to say to make breaking news that I'm about to break free. I'm about to break loose, break wide open. I'm ready to break wide open, break loose, and get on that motorcycle. What can I say? It's not easy being a bike vlogger. Um, I'm gonna wind you through. You can check out a little of Moonlight State Beach here in uh, North County, San Diego. This here is the Lifeguard Master Station. That is the ocean. Look at that, people in the water. It's the 7th of February. And so, and we will see what's going on here. So, this is Moonlight State Beach. It's kind of iconic for its soul palm tree that I'll show you here in just a second. As I show you the children's playground area. There you go. Lifeguards are going out of service in 10 minutes. A couple quick housekeeping rules before we uh, enjoy this beautiful sunset. Just want to remind you, there are no dogs, glass, alcohol, smoking, or fires away from the fire pits. Great swimming until tomorrow morning. As always, it's been a pleasure to serve you. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Well, there you have the announcement from the lifeguard telling people to watch the rip current and to behave, to behave. We can give you a little upper view here, looking down on the beach a bit. The sun is setting. We'll get to our next locale and maybe be able to be able to watch that thing kind of take its dive into the ocean. So the breaking news is I am getting ready. I am fixing to go back on that motorcycle and do a real motorcycle vlog, right? I mean, the bike vlog's good because frankly, it's a little bit quieter, right? <laughs> 
So let's talk a little bit about, about vertigo and why it's been so long. So I've been going to physical therapy, what they call vestibular physical therapy, for well over a year, trying to rewire my brain, trying to train the brain to compensate for some damage in that vestibular system in the right ear. It's responsible for your balance. If I rewind to a year and a half ago, it was really, I was just constantly lightheaded, dizzy, and just feeling off. I mean, really badly off. Um, after a couple months of that, I did finally buy this e-bike because I figured it would be good training, good practice, so that I could eventually get back on that motorcycle. I thought that in less than six months, I would be completely cured. The fog would be lifted from my uh, lightheaded existence and I'd be normal again. Well, even now, a year and a half later, I have to report I'm not totally normal all the time. But you know what? I deal with it, I accept it, and I get better days every week, but never totally gone because there'll be one day I'll wake up and then BAM! It's like, oh, just a little reminder, a little slap in the face to say, you're still a little off, Alan. I'm having more good days than bad days, more or less. So, I feel good. You know, my neurologist doctor, the crazy Purcell, you've seen me in his wacky vertigo dizzy chair trying to cure this ailment it tells me that maybe one day I'm just gonna wake up there'll be no clouds the fog will clear and I will wonder what happened <laughs> just did a little wheelie that's being a little help he had a passenger on the back but that was a bit, a bit risky he didn't hold it too long so maybe one day I will wake up with a fog will clear. But anyway, as I am preparing within, you know, sometime, perhaps by the end of February, early March, I'll get the bike back in shape. It's just been sitting. And you know what's the worst thing for a motorcycle, besides the fact that it's getting lonely, is when it just sits. When it just sits. So I gotta do it, put through a complete safety check and get the bike fixed up, put the new battery in it, and take it on the road. And take it on a road that's gonna be kind of fun and we'll, we'll do this, right? We'll do this. We'll have a nice conversation, except I'll take you out to the, to the deserts. And Maybe we can get out there, we'll, we'll break out the drone, and we'll do some stuff, and it'll be, my, it'll be my coming out party. Think of it that way. You know, it's not coming out, it's kind of coming back, maybe. It'll be the coming back party, you know, to where I did truly break free and find the courage, the will, and of course, the excitement that's drawing me to get back on that motorcycle. That's what I look forward to. So that's kind of the breaking news here that I wanted to share with you, as well as some of this gorgeous weather. Be careful, I have this helmet. In fact, I did a review on it. I'll, I'll show you for a second. This helmet actually has a light on it. See that? Now, of course, I'm not, I didn't turn it on to, to do this bike vlog. That would definitely make somebody dizzy to look at that all the time while watching this video. I'm on this great bike pedestrian path that goes right along uh, San Alijo Beach. There's swamis right behind me. Sunset chaser. That's right. I take this ride. You know, the, the, I bury it, but almost every day I come down check out this sunset and it is absolutely my it's the most fun thing I'm actually gonna pull over here
below these eroding cliffs where they pushed a lot of rock up against them uh, is the as we're moving into high tide when it gets to be totally high tide there's a barely any beach there at all so in the next couple days it won't be possible to walk on the beach until the start the tide begins its its receding trick revealing the beach more of it each day all right so thank you for riding bike vlog. I'll share with you a quick montage, how's that, of some of the dishes I have been cooking while locked down in this pandemic. You know, recipes and food make an important part of my book, forks, and of course whenever you travel anywhere, where do you usually connect with people, you usually over good food and drink. So here's what I've been doing. I'd love to hear what you've been up to. Thank you.